Nowadays, the classic Western TV series Rawhide is most often brought up as being the vehicle that introduced the world to Clint Eastwood. However, though Clint was an important supporting player, he wasn't the star. That was a man named Eric Fleming. Eric was a man whose machismo gave Clint Eastwood a run for his money at any age. Sadly, it was his rugged machismo that ended up doing him in. During his time in the Navy, he attempted a show of strength that left him greatly wounded. Join Facts First as we explore why Rawhide star Eric Fleming needed surgery on his face. There are few TV stars that have had lives quite as rough as the one led by Rawhide star Eric Fleming. The classic series may have been the vehicle that introduced Eastwood to the public, but it was Eric Fleming who drew audiences' eyes to the series back in the day. Eric had a rough background, and it's a miracle he was able to find the success he did in the industry. Still, his days were numbered. He was born in Santa Paula, California on July 4, 1925. He was an awkward child, and his father treated him poorly. Instead of having compassion for his awkwardly developing son, he simply made the issues worse by beating him profusely. The violence Eric fell victim to at home caused him to run away at a young age. At age 10, he ran away from his abusive household, stowing away on a train headed for Chicago. There, he ventured down a dark rabbit hole. There wasn't much for a young boy to do on the run, but Eric knew any kind of life was better than suffering the abuse of his father. He ended up in Chicago where times were tough for everyone. It was the Great Depression, and there were few opportunities for a kid like Eric to make it without turning to crime. And the Mafia was bigger than ever. He took up with the mob, and it appeared as if his future would be in organized crime. Working for the Mob as a Kid Eric began running errands for the Chicago Mob. As he gained their trust, he was sent on increasingly dangerous missions. Eventually, the boy found he had bitten off more than he could chew. On an exceptionally dangerous errand, Eric wound up in the hospital. As he was being tended to, the authorities were able to track down his mother. By this point, his mother had divorced his abusive father and was anxious to have her son home. Eric went to California with his mother, and the remainder of his upbringing wasn't nearly as tough as the first part had been. He was able to lead a normal life, that is, until a tragic accident occurred shortly after his coming of age. When he became a man, he decided to join the Navy. Whether it was the beatings from his father or the years he spent in organized crime, Eric Fleming always felt the need to prove his masculinity. This habit plagued the man numerous times. When he was in the Navy, one of his peers bet him he couldn't lift a 200-pound weight over his head. The man's man he was, he took the bet without question. He was able to lift it over his head, but he wasn't able to hold it there. As soon as he cleared his head with the weight, it came crashing back down on him. It struck him right in the face, causing serious injuries that necessitated drastic plastic surgery. He looked quite a bit different before the accident. For most people, this would be a curse, but the face that Eric ended up with was the same one that made him famous. Seems like the surgeons did a great job. After his stint in the Navy, Eric didn't jump right into acting. Instead, he began working in construction. Eric was working on the construction of a film set when an incident inspired him to start taking acting classes. And the rest is history. This video is sponsored by Zbiotics. Zbiotics is a probiotic drink that helps you feel better the day after drinking. Many people think dehydration is responsible for that morning after feeling, but it's actually due to an alcohol byproduct that builds up in the gut. Zbiotics produces an enzyme specifically to break down this byproduct and reduce the after effects of alcoholic beverages. This is real science that works, not random vitamins and plant extracts like everything else. And Zbiotics is so easy to use. Just drink a bottle of Zbiotics before your first drink of alcohol. You only need one bottle. Then drink responsibly, pace yourself, and get a good night's sleep. Thanks to Zbiotics, you can enjoy your next day feeling refreshed and ready to make the most of it. Every time I have Zbiotics before drinking, I am amazed at how good I feel the next day. With the holiday season upon us, consider gifting Zbiotics to give the gift of a better next morning. It's unique, thoughtful, and under $40. If you use the code FACTSFIRST at checkout, you can get an extra 15% off your first order. Click the link in the description or go to zbiotics.com slash FACTSFIRST and get 15% off. How Eric Got Into Acting one day, Eric was working as a carpenter on a film set when he made another fateful bet. He bet one of the actors on the set of the film he could act just as well as he could. Eric ended up losing the bet, but his competitive nature meant he didn't take that loss very well. It inspired him to start taking acting classes, and that's how he got into acting. His big break as an actor came via the role of Gil Favor on Rawhide. 
After years of tough breaks, Eric had a hardened persona that perfectly fit the role. Rawhide became a major success. It lasted nine seasons, but Eric didn't appear in the show's final season. There are differing accounts as to why he didn't appear. According to Eric, the reason was the studio fired him. Eric claimed he was making too much money per episode, and the studio no longer considered it feasible to keep him on board. This account is peculiar. What most people think actually happened is the star asked for more money during the show's final season, and the studio refused. Eric then likely quit the show because they didn't meet his demands. It's also possible that the studio had threatened Eric with a decrease in pay that caused him to walk. Regardless, it seems most likely the decision was Eric's and not the studio's. The studio would have certainly tried its best to keep the star on, though it's also possible they would have considered it feasible not to continue producing Rawhide with the same high budget. His departure killed the show. Rawhide continued for one season without Eric Fleming, and it was a massive failure. Everyone missed the rugged star, and the show was canceled. He continued acting, though his life would soon be cut short. He appeared on Western television via episodes of Bonanza, and he also appeared in a 1966 film alongside Doris Day called The Glass Bottom Boat. He could have become a bigger deal in his career if it wasn't for the fact that he ended up joining the list of Hollywood stars that died too young. He died on the set of a movie he was filming, and the death hearkened back to his penchant for biting off more than he could chew. The movie he was filming was a made-for-TV picture, but the filming was being taken very seriously by its cast and crew. It certainly wasn't your average made-for-TV movie, as it was being filmed on location in South America instead of a studio lot. The location filming ended up proving incredibly difficult. Eric Fleming passed away filming in the jungle. Accounts from the production of High Jungle suggest that the filming was no picnic, but it wasn't the generally poor working conditions that caused Eric's demise. The shooting of one specific scene did. In the scene, he and a co-star were canoeing down some incredibly dangerous rapids. The crew tried to secure stunt doubles for Eric and his co-star. They allegedly ventured into a nearby village and tried to find anyone they could, but no one was willing to canoe down the rapids. This should have been a warning sign for Eric. But he was never one to turn down a challenge. Eric and his co-star ended up doing the scene themselves. Tragically, Eric died during filming. As it was being filmed, they lost control of the canoe due to the insane pressure of the rapids. Eric jumped out, believing he'd be able to make it back to shore. But he wound up being found several days later by locals after washing up on shore further down the river. At age 41, Eric Fleming was dead. Though Fleming's rugged machismo helped him stand out in the industry, it also proved a curse. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Eric Fleming had to have his face reconstructed before coming to Hollywood and that he ran away from home at a young age and took up with the Chicago mob? Let us know in the comments section below.